Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have did about the updating post. So, updating the data from in the state management we have seen. Now, in this video, we will try to see about the deleting post. How we can delete the post, we will try to see in this video. Now, here, let's go and let's close this all the things. Okay, first we will open the post list. Post list component.html. Okay, I am adding here one button button okay class is equal to btn btn hyphen danger and delete i will add a button instead of adding a route so we don't have the route right now here if you if i save this one okay i saved this one now if i refresh yeah if i refresh this one we need to get a button here yeah we got the button now let's add some gap so i am adding one space m percent nbsp okay so added the space so delete button is there now what i need to do is so upon upon clicking on this one i need to delete this post okay so let's go and right here click option okay so click here i will write on delete post okay on delete post i am writing on delete post i will send I will try to take the ID, ID of the post as an argument. And here, if I go here, if I go to the TS file, now let me write on delete post and I got that ID as a string. And here, what I will try to do is, I will write if confirm, okay. So this is a JavaScript, met, JavaScript method, confirm. Dialog box will come. Now if confirm, are you sure you want to delete okay so if it is true then we will write right right here or otherwise we will leave it now let's try to see console okay delete the post so here we need to delete the post now here let's go and refresh this one and if i refresh this one so now if i click here i got a i got a pop up that are you sure you want to delete if i click on cancel it will go away if i click on ok i got the console that delete the post so now here i need to write the action so before writing that action we need to create the action delete action right now here export constant and here i will write the same thing export constant delete underscore post underscore action is equal to it will be post page delete post okay so this is the method and here i will write delete post is equal to create action of this delete post action and here the props what i need to take the id is enough right of type string so id is enough if we know the id post id we can delete so this is the create action now let's go again to the post list and here what i will try to do let's inject the store so store is already injected now what i will try to do is this dot store dot dispatch okay this dot store dot dispatch what i need to do i need to call the delete post and here what i will do i need to send the id so i have the id with me so i will send that id directly now delete post has been done so action we are firing the action now we need to write the rest corresponding reducer for this one so what i need to do so here on delete post okay on delete post so state take the state okay and state the action also if you want you can directly write like this also using like this so it will take only the id from that one now what i need to do return so state we need to return okay so we need to take constant updated post is equal to state state dot post dot filter we will do the filter so we will take each post and we will return which post dot id is not equal to id okay so we are filtering out this one so now i can return state okay i can return the state and here i can update the post with the updated post okay 
so we are using the spread operator something like that so we are so that we can take only the id from that one or otherwise you can take the action and action dot id you can write instead of writing that action dot id we can take the whatever the parameters we are having properties we are having we can make it in the here and so we have updated a post we took that which is not equal to id then only store that updated updated post so that means whatever the id we are passing this will not be entered uh, this will not, this will not be pushed into the updated post and as usual we are updating a post here so this is the delete post now let's try to see the output if i click here okay a refresh yeah it is refreshed if i click here are you sure you want to delete okay automatically it will delete it now if i try to add the post here so add post here it is added two three posts i have, I have added if you want you can navigate the route also so if i click on update post we are able to update here and if i update here it is able to update and now if i want to delete i can delete this one directly see everything is working without any problem so now using using the state management we have did creating creating a post adding a post deleting the post and also updating the post and also showing all the post list we have seen okay so this is the total crud operations using the already existing data okay so already existing data means nothing but what i can say is the state in the state we are already having the data okay we are already having the data and we are showing it so this is synchronous way of updating the data now in the from the next video onwards what we will try to do is so this data is not present here the data should be uh, we should get it from the database and we should get it from the database and the updating and all those things we should do it in the database level so from the next video onwards what we will try to do is we will try to set up the same same logic we will apply the login registration authentication everything so that comes from the database everything we will do it like this and that way okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you